Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to try and answer uh, the, some of your questions. Uh, I've seen there is a common question on the previous video where people are asking me how to tell a robot that they would have created with FX Dreamer to trade a certain number of uh, trades. So uh, there is a mix of uh, uh, questions that people really ask me about uh, uh, trades with their robot. The first one uh, is how to uh, let the robot trade as many trades as it wants. So if you are somebody like that, basically you have seen in the uh, videos that we've done here is we come here and i use this block uh then i also use this uh, block the purpose of using these two blocks is to limit the robot to trading first i'm telling the robot uh, check if you have not placed any trades yet before you start looking for or these conditions and placing any new trades stuff like that then i'm telling the robot i only want you to do this once per bar so maybe in a theoretical uh, forex robot maybe let's just uh, uh, do uh, this uh, robot that uh, trades uh, moving average uh, crossovers uh, we we'll just link it uh, like that there will be our conditions uh, there double click uh, and i'll choose crossover crossover there uh, double click there and I'll choose a cross over like uh, that there. So what I'm saying is once per bar, once per bar, don't continuously check for these conditions uh, as the uh, candle is up, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. No, I wanted to just check once per bar. So th the combination of these blocks actually makes the robot trade or one trade per, per the existence of whatever conditions that you would have set here so um, people have been asking me so uh what if i want the robot to tell to to trade all the money in my account uh it's simple just remove these uh two blocks and you can start here and you can start here put your conditions and then uh, you actually put in your your buy buttons uh, there the robot will actually still trade uh, like that or if you want you can still maybe just use the uh, no trade uh, block and uh, then uh, but it kind of limits uh, then uh, if the robot now understands that it has prior uh, trades uh, that are open so you can just uh, remove uh, this and you can still put in your conditions and then end up with your buy and sell uh, blocks uh, there so uh, that's under as one of the common questions that i've seen on the channel people want their robots to trade a thousand trades i don't know why people would want to do that because for me it's a recipe for disaster but well it's your money you are free to do what you want to do with your money so now i'm going to show you how to tell uh, the robot the number of trades that you want the robot to be taking by the way if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing so that you do not miss any of our future videos if you are also looking to download free forex robots uh, books trading courses indicators and stuff like that that you might need to improve your trading and become a profitable trader see the links in the description box below visit those blogs see if you cannot find what you're looking uh, there if you cannot find anything there that you want come and leave your request in the comment section below i'll i'll do my best to try and find what you are looking for and i'll post it on the blogs so keep checking the blogs and uh keep uh commenting in the videos the broker that i use many people also ask me about the broker that i use 
I have been with them for more than five years now, no problems regarding deposits and withdrawals. And one of their best offers is for people like us who are creating and testing these robots is you can actually create a $5 account, a real life trading account with just $5. So you can open a real life trading account with just $5 plug in your robot and see if your robot can grow uh, that account if it can grow that account then obviously you've stumbled upon something good then you can go ahead and give it more money to trade with but if it loses that five dollars then of course it's uh, not much it's just five dollars uh, then uh, you, you can continue finding another robot that will probably make you some money so getting back to our video so what you want to do uh what i uh, did because i you i uh, once did it let's just if you just click here no more click you would delete the connection no more click you delete the connection so back in the day uh because i used to also make robots uh where i would tell it uh, i wanted to trade uh, so many uh trades uh when the entry conditions have been met i've since stopped that i've kind of uh, grown uh, a little bit uh matured i don't know so now i only tell my robot to trade one trade one trade Per condition i don't want a robot that trades uh five trades three trades and stuff because sometimes your robot will be caught up in a situation where because the market is moving up and down up and down and there's news there's uh, stuff like that's happening and your robot now you told your robot to open 10 trades well, then news comes uh, unexpected news comes and your robot blows your account but in any case people still want these conditions with their robot that's why i'm making uh, this video so back in the day i was then uh, i'm hoping that it's still the case i'm hoping that it's still the case what worked for me was basically having a no trade uh, there uh, i just use that as a standard then uh, uh i would uh, move that uh, there then the next thing uh, that you'd want very simple is check trade count simple check trade count and you would place it between your condition and the buy or sell blocks and then you link it like that uh, that was what worked for me i haven't used uh, this style of uh, making robots in a long time so maybe the procedure is changed on fx stream i don't know but this is what worked for me back in the day so then you double click go in there now you can play uh, with the settings so first of all here you can choose what you want here it says greater than and the number that we have here trades count trades count is three so when we're saying greater than three it means the robot can trade uh, can open five trades once this condition has been made or can open 10 trades can open 20 trades as long as it's greater than three that's what we are saying that's what we are saying here uh, you can check that box so that you can change some of these things uh on fx streamer side without coming back to on meta trader 5 uh, meta trader 4 side without coming back to fx streamer or you can change uh, this to 20 maybe you want the robot to open 20 trades like that or you want your robot to open uh four trades uh, uh this is where you play along with it but greater than you are saying minimum is four trades once these conditions are met minimum open four trades then the robot can open as much trades as it decides whatever or you can actually come and say a lower than so the robot uh if you say lower than can trade can open maybe one maybe two maybe three but the trades will be lower than four or maybe you say lower than 15. so maybe it can open 13 trades 12 9 uh, 6 uh, as long as it's lower than 15 that's what you're telling your robot then uh, here you can also say 
equal to so you are telling the robot i want you to open this specific number of trades and the robot is going to try and match these 15 trades so if the condition is met it's going to try and open 15 trades like that or you can say five trades or you can say whatever number of trades that you want to use so decide on what you want to use uh, greater than or equal to uh, still you are handing control to uh, the robot uh, either greater than or equal to five uh, you are letting the robot decide uh, what to do in that scenario but if you want specifics i think stick to equal to you want the robot to open five trades once this condition is made you want the robot to open five trades and it buys so we are going to say filter by type we don't want the robot to decide on both uh, sales uh, and buys well, because we don't want it to be uh, like a total the number of open trades both buys and sales so we are going to say buys the buys need to be five so you need to set this this block uh, this section and set this section and set this section uh filter by group no you don't need uh, uh this uh you you you, you can uh, play with it uh but uh, just keep it as default uh my thinking then uh you can specify a symbol but we can well we, we can we can say any symbol but let's just keep it uh, uh default play along with some of these settings if you are not happy with the results that you're getting uh, i leave it up to you the purpose with these uh, videos i'm just giving you the basics i'm not giving you everything i want you to just take the basic concept the basic idea then run with it that's why I try to make these videos even understandable to a grade 5 child. I don't even know if grade 5 children are allowed to trade, but in any case, I'm trying to make these videos as simple as possible, give you the idea and the concept then from there there is a lot of things that you can do with this platform then from there you take the idea of the concept and you run with it and you create your own robots and you create your own fancy robots fancy functions fancy tools and stuff like that and then we double click again and come in here and we say we want it to be equal to we want it to open uh 20 cells uh, we just tick that and we say we only want it to be sales so it's going to make sure that it opens 20 sales and we update then of course you then set your conditions uh for your for your trades there the lot size the stop loss and, and and stuff like that so that's basically how i used to do it uh back in the day uh it probably should be working now so for people who have been asking me how do you tell the robot the particular number of uh, trades that you wanted to trade this is how i used uh, to do it i'm hoping that it still works uh, like that guys if you have any more questions leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to go through all the questions and try to uh, answer all the questions uh people also ask me hey uh we want to contact you via email we want to do this via email and stuff like that uh i'm still looking into that uh what happened back in the day is i gave out my email address uh to the public and i actually got hacked because uh, not everybody who is coming to watch uh, these videos on these channels has good intentions of uh, following what we are teaching here some people are just uh, out here with like evil intentions so i got hacked and i decided no i'm not going to share my email addresses uh, on the internet again but uh, i'm still deciding on maybe opening a separate email that i can just use for my subscribers uh, many of you want to send me stuff i don't know what you want to send me uh, via email whether it's viruses or whether it's tools or whether it's questions strategies i don't know but i'm still debating on it uh we'll see uh what i decide on but otherwise guys uh, i hope this video has been helpful i will see you in the next one bye